G'day everyone, Stephen's your resident game engineer here, and welcome back to Factorio episode 3. So, you may ask why I'm so zoomed in right now. It's because I don't want to show off what I've been doing like, just yet. So when I left you all, I believe that I had set up this iron smelting section. Oh crap, I just gave away most of it. <laughs> um... Yeah, set up this iron smelting section. It's about as efficient as it can be for the moment. Not very big, but it's, as I said, about as, as efficient as it can be. Definitely need to make it bigger. Because the iron plates are disappearing like hotcakes, as, I, as, the, uh, as the saying goes. So I've done that. And if I zoom out a little bit, ta da! Itty bit of, itty bitty bit, itty bitty bit of automation. So, that's kind of cool. First things first, though, I'll jump over here. Oh, goodness, no wonder. Although, probably not a huge problem right now. If, um. What's this stuff called? Copper. If it's going a little slow. Seven, eight. Yep. Alright. Um. Yeah, what was I saying? Whoa! Okay, apparently there's a screenshot button there. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Alright, cool. Um, yeah, so that's a copper. Copper section, pretty much the same as the iron, just with copper. <laughs> pretty straightforward, really. Um, heaps of copper plates to come out. I've got it sort of automatically making copper cables just here, a little line balancer, so we've got it on both sides. Um, introduced a few lights around the thing, as you'll see at night time, just so we know that it's running and that we can walk from place to place nice and safe. And this is a coal line, so I don't have to keep going back and forth, back and forth, because as you remember, coal's back here. It's not that far away. But it just can, can be a real hassle going from here to there and here to there and here to there and here to there. So I have done a couple of lines of coal from here to there and here to there. Much the way I was much like the way I was walking. <laughs> Uh, and I've just got them filling up these chests, so they're, they're quite well stocked for now. I've actually turned the coal guys off for now, because they were just putting a bit of a strain on my current electricity system. So, I thought it would probably make sense to uh, just cut it for a bit and see... How that goes. Hey, 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 hey. Go back. Thank you. Um, oh, my iron plates. No. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. So I'm trying to keep them, keep the stuff on the line mostly even. Um, we'll see how that goes. As I said, Cut these drills off for now. Hopefully I don't forget to put them back on when I need them. Oh, there's another light. Uh, 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 and as you can see, we've got this chest here and this chest here. So they're pretty full for now, so that's fine. Uh -huh. So if I zoom in on this a little bit for a, a little while, hot little second, as my good friend would say. I'll let you guess which one. Uh, copper cables, copper plates, coming all the way across, and here is when they enter the automatic smelting section. So as you can see, that's why I was smelting up the back there. Automatic assembling section, I should say, sorry. Uh, that's why I had them smelting all the way at the actual pit, I guess you could say, because it's just easier to bring raw plates, use them, and bring the cables and use them as opposed to having everything made over here. Um, as you can see, it's a mess as it is. So, 
task one at some point will be to clean this up a little bit, basically. Um, if I click on him, yeah, so he's got three in there, I might, yeah, definitely got to clean this up so it's a lot more uh, neat and tidy and a lot, little easier to follow, although because it's so compact, it's not difficult to follow. It's just annoying to do so, really. Um, what's up? There, there was one part that was really frustrating me. Oh, waiting for the assembly machine level two. That was annoying. That's for damn sure. Um, because that's sort of a a fair bottleneck bottleneck in terms of production, especially for. Uh, Hang on, is that it? There was a green thing there. Hmm. There's two green things. What? Anyways. Oh, good. Getting a little bit of a backup here. That's excellent. The red ones are a little bit of a worry. I've got them going for ages. I've got more of them going at once. Don't I? Oh, no, I've only got two at once. Dang it, man. Hmm annoying. I may need to fix that up. May need to throw another one in here and just have it weave around somehow. Anywho, I'll deal with that a little later. Um, today, seven minutes into the episode, which is longer into it than I wanted to do, I was going to set up a few defense points. Um, Uh-oh. Electricity's running out. Let's go fix that up first, everybody. So I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, I do just grab them from here. So I'll have to turn the coal back on soon-ish. Uh, actually, I think I need more than eight. Three, six, yeah, I need ten. Oh, well, what are you going to do? One, two, three, four, five, uh, too far away. Oh, of course. I'm always too far away. Alright, that's not too bad, at least I can... Oh, hang on, I've still got some on me. Okay, now I need one more. So apparently I took nine, that's interesting. Anywho. Um, yeah, definitely need to move some coal up to there as well, so I don't need to keep walking back and forth. For these fellas, um, I like trying to keep them all stacked, or stocked the same level, I should say. Um, just seems to make it a little easier a little later on. So, you might be wondering why I want to set up defenses. And that's a very fair question. Considering you've only seen me die once on camera, and that was because this little patch of bastards here spawned as I was walking past them. So that was frustrating. Ah, see, they're, they're running much better now. So yeah, electricity is at a much better level at this point. If you click on your uh, power poles, it actually gives you an idea of how much you're using. So production of 1.7. Uh, yeah, could probably do with cutting some more. Cutting out a little bit more, or maybe... Yeah. I don't know. I'll have a look. Um, what was I saying? That's right. Defenses. Um, I had one single dairy biter come down and destroy that power pole, so that completely interrupted my electricity supply. And then he started to attack my drill. I had to make a couple of repair packs and everything. Ugh. It was terrible. All of a sudden, I didn't know why I had no electricity. Um, yeah, anyways, so I thought I would set up a few defense points. Now, I think I'm okay from anywhere apart from the north. To be honest, I'm probably even safe from the north. Oh my god, is that stone? It is stone! Oh, I was running all the way around for that stuff. God! Gog! <laughs> that is so annoying. 
But anyways, I'm going to set up some defense points up around this north area. Um, I also made some radars. Now, I don't know. Okay, so they, they do need electricity. I thought so. I don't know exactly, 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 exactly how they work, to be completely honest. Like, all I know is that they have electricity, or they use electricity, and they're supposed to increase the range of map that you can see. Um, but I should probably move them a little bit further out than where that one is. But anyways, I'll leave it on for, leave it there for now. Gonna make a quick run down here. Get it to the most, the furthest most point. <laughs> furthest most, yeah, I don't know. The point furthest away in terms of electricity, so. Let's do that. Oh, more research is done. Cool. So electronic, electric energy distribution one. The next thing I want to get is electric energy accumulators. I've, write, I've written all this stuff down so I can I remember stuff. Um, okay, so that part's highlighted. So that must be the work of the devil. <laughs> that must be the work of the radars. So... In that case, if I run back down here and not put this down where I was going to put it, because I can't, because, you know, I turned stuff off. Man. Let's just put that there for now. Yeah, so see that's gotten a bit bigger. Down here is a spot. Yeah, so that's not too bad. These worry me. I don't like that at all. Ah, there you go. Ooh, oil. There's oil up here as well, so that's useful. Um, I'll need to start siphoning that across soon, actually. So we'll worry about that on a different day. As I said, I would like to get some defenses set up at this point, because they're just machine gun turrets. It's not a huge deal to set them up, let's be honest. I just place them, put some ammo in, and they do the work. Um, so I think if I just set up a line starting around here, uh, where's the extreme point? Here's the extreme point of my steam engines. So I think at this point, if I go right there, you know, I just need to work out. Is range right where I'm standing. So if I do that as um, actually, I reckon just a fraction of overlap would be ideal. So let's. Sorry, everyone, I'm going to be a real stickler with how I want these placed. Uh huh. And I want that about there, so. Alright, so just above that brambly thing. Alright, cool. And I'll do the same, so I've got 10 of these, I think, in total? Yeah, 10 in total, so I've used two. Obviously, because, you know, I can count. There we go. So then I want it about there. If only I could place things a little further away. True. Um, so that's the edge of it. That's the line I want. About there, I would say. So just behind that brambly bush thingy. So that's four so far. Hmm. You know what? I reckon that's enough for the front line. And then... Okay, so if I go... About halfway in between them. There. There, that's about half. That's covering a lot of that circle. 
but I'll put one not right there because I'm standing there. There we go, that's much better. I'll put this one in here. Just hide it from those alien bastards a little bit. And this one I'll get rid of the tree. Put the other one right in. Get rid of this tree as well. And this tree. As soon as I'm close enough. And this tree. And this tree. And I'll put it right... Uh, probably about here, I'd say. There. There. And there. Uh, yeah, about there, I'd say. Alright, cool. So I've got three left, so I've placed seven. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. I think that's probably a good place to start, at the very least. Um, 32... 732 and 100, 132. I'm going to leave about 10 or 15 on me. So 122 can be used, maybe 117. Put that into 7 and what do you get? You get one, about 17 per. So if I go that, that's half. Cool. And then I'll put... Uh, that one? Yes. Beautiful. So I don't know how I'm going to do this now. Damn it. <laughs> oh, boy. Fine. I'll take them out one at a time. There we go. 16. Uh, you get 9. And then you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, you get seventeen. Whatever. Mm, yeah, you probably very rarely be shot, actually. But anyways, sixteen. Beautiful. I'm walking into the gun. Hey, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Blah, blah, blah. Sixteen. Beautiful. And you can get some as well. Blah, 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 blah. 17. Yeah, close enough. Cool. Uh, oh, I also made some armor. Light armor. Very light armor. Um, it's literally, I think, worth three armor spots. So, it's not great. No, and I have a single shotgun shell because I stuffed up what I was doing. And so now I have a shotgun shell. And no shotgun. Oh, yes. I actually like that. But I don't like that there's so many reds being held up. That's what I don't like at all. So, because of that, you can get half of them, and you can get the other half, and you should be right for a little while now. Hopefully that'll give it a chance to build up some reds. I suppose I should probably do that now, actually. Yeah, let's do that just really quickly. Oh, I can't make an assembly bench. How do I make them again? Need iron plates. Let's go to my iron plate farm. Oh boy. And I keep picking up iron ore because I'm an idiot and I walk too far up. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cool. There we go. Alright, now hopefully that'll give it time to build up again. Now I need one of them. I'm gonna need a handful of inserters, that's fine, I got them already. Um, iron plates, copper. Yes, perfect. All right, all right, all right, I'm happy. In that case, all I need to do really is bring you a bit further down. I won't do it yet, on second thoughts. I'll put you right, what, maybe? Yeah, that's, that sounds fair enough, actually. And then I can put one inserter there, one inserter there, one inserter there. We're going to try and set all this up before 
Uh, I actually need them, if you will. Alright, I need more iron plates. Jeez, aloo, I need so many iron plates. That should be 10. It's probably more than 10, but anyways. Uh huh. And you know what? I might actually make another one. Probably didn't need them. Anyways. Now, what's that? Three. Right there, and. Oh, of course I'm not close enough. There we go. And you. Oh, of course I'm not close enough. <laughs> and done. Cool. So now if I extend that out a little bit. Oh! Jesus, I'll get to you in a minute. Uh, can I place you in a spot that gets all of them at once? Probably not, hey. Ah, jeez. Ooh, actually, I can probably... Yes, I can make bigger ones. Oh, I need steel plate. Damn it, I'm not quite up to that point yet. Bah, humbug. Let's get rid of you momentarily. Uh, do that, and then can I put this anywhere that gets all of them? I cannot. Damn it, man. Just do that, and just do that. I guess it's an utter waste of electricity poles, but anyways. Um, yeah, alright. And so now I'll do that. Yes, I am going to make another one, in case you're wondering. Ah, oh, more iron plates. Of course, I need more iron plates. I need so many iron plates. Ah, yes, that's backing up nicely now. That's what I like to see. Uh-huh. Uh, one. Thank you. Shift five. I'm starting to get the hang of these hotkeys too, everybody, so... That's always nice. Um, what do I want? That one? <laughs> I'm starting at the hang of these hotkeys. What do I want? <laughs> Sheesh. Totally makes sense, doesn't it? Cool. And then... Yes, I can place one to power all of them. Huzzah. Every huzzah. Huzzah, huzzah. Alright, now I set you up to do them. And I set you up to do them. And I run you across. If you're in the way, I'm going to be utterly annoyed. You are in the way. Oh, Jesus. Much better. There we go. So now, hopefully, that will get stuff rolling. Um, yeah, definitely, hopefully, we'll start rolling. Why is that backing? Oh, because I'm not researching anything. She. Alright, accumulator is the next thing. Solar energy, I think, is the one I want. Um, oh, hang on. What what, what do I need to get the laser turrets? What do I need to get the laser turrets? Do I need logistics? No, not logistics. Why would I need logistics for laser turrets, you fool head? I know I need plastics. Laser. Plastics next. Okay. 200. Solar energy to 50. So plastics will be quicker. So let's do that one first. Alright, and then once that's done, that's when we need the oil, I believe. So we'll get to that at some point in a relative future, I guess you could say. Um, Alright, so I've set that guy up to make some more red things. We've set this guy up to make some more red things. We've set up a little bit of defense up the top. Very good, very good. Uh, these episodes don't really lend themselves to doing a lot of stuff in one hit. Uh, unless I do a lot of jump cuts, which I probably will do at some point. But not straight away, not to start. Um, what will I do next? Now that I've got that stuff going, I might actually start making sure I've got a grip on the oil stuff. Because I think I need to start bringing that down which is a little unfortunate <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness I'm worried about that part that's when you start to get into the slightly more complicated aspects but oh well we'll see I guess 
Uh, yeah, so as I said, I think between this episode and next, I'll do a little bit of oil checking. Um, I'm standing here because there's all pretty colours and what and that. But yeah, I'll do some oil checking, make sure I have at least an inkling of what I'm doing. Because it's generally a good idea, before you start anything, you have at least some idea of what you're supposed to be doing. And yes, I think that's about all I need to say, and I'm going to cut the episode at about the time I want for once. Holy moly, what a change. What a change in direction. An on-time game engineer. Huh. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. It's a little bit late, so I apologize for the loopiness. Anywho, as I said, I'm going to look up some oil and plastic stuff, make sure I've got some grasp on it before next episode, hopefully it will be researched and then I can just put it all into practice straight away. But until then, my name's Stevens, I'm your resident game engineer, signing off. See you later everyone.